Hello, Virgo. Amy Energy here with a tarot message for you. We are working with the Wheel of Change tarot, pulling out for our environment, connections, and contributions. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so use your own intuition to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Let's see here. We have the eight of discs on the bottom of the deck. All right, Virgo. So I definitely feel like we are like really thinking about the resources that we're going to need to get something done here. Um, so very interesting over our reading. Well, I mean, that's not really truly that's not that interesting. <laughs> you know, that's like all of us. <laughs> but I'm sure your reading is going to get so much more exciting here, Virgo. Okay, already amazing. All right, Ace of Swords, Six of Wands, King of Wands coming out. Okay, this is in our environment. So I feel like we're choosing to go a whole new direction. Oh my gosh, yes, than what we've been going in the past. Okay, we're having a lot of realizations about ourselves. With the Six of Wands, we've really worked hard to have this victory that we're having. Okay, and I feel like we are feeling loved. We're feeling like we can finally flow creatively in our space with the King of Wands. I definitely feel like we're able to, you know really take our vision seriously here okay yeah three of wands we're able to really make some solid plans okay for our future for what we really want here high priestess is on the bottom of the deck so this could be something that you've been being called toward you know been feeling that gut feeling but we're finally getting the real clarity that we need with the Ace of Swords, okay? So really beautiful victory that we are experiencing right now in our environment, okay? And let's get us one more card here. All right, Virgo, free flow coming out. Yeah, absolutely. This, that's exactly what I felt with the Ace of Cups. You know, we're really... The victory here is that we are having some space to flow and get inspired, right? Like from the heart. Like this is really beautiful energy. And, you know, just through connecting to our emotions in a really beautiful way here, it's able to really inspire our next steps, okay? We really are putting a plan in place. So I feel like we have asked questions on the bottom of the deck here because right now we are in a space where, you know, we may be asking a lot of questions because we are putting together a plan. So make sure you're asking questions and asking the right questions, right? Trust your intuition. Don't second guess yourself right now because your intuition I feel really is on point. It is safe for you to just flow and trust what you're feeling in this moment in your environment. Okay, so that's lovely. Moving into connections, we have the nine of wands. So there's a little more struggle here, right? Okay, um, I'm feeling like it's almost a sense of desperation that I'm feeling here. Okay, we have the knight of cups the King of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Moon, okay? Wow. Wow, okay? The Knight of Swords is here, though, so I definitely feel like we may be a bit of our own worst enemy here because there's, like, some really good, beautiful, lovely energies in this reading, but for some reason we are still feeling wounded. And that's understandable. Even with the six of wands, you know, this is a victory, but it's something we worked for. And when you work really hard, well, sometimes you have wounds. Okay. So regardless of whether those situations are connected, 
um, with this nine of wands, I do feel like when it comes to love, we have been wounded and, you know, we may just still be reevaluating like who we are after what we've been through, right? Like we might not 100% be so sure about that. I feel like with the moon, we do, you know, have some pretty strong urges that are coming up right now or like some really strong intuitions okay but it's interesting okay we're definitely keeping ourselves safe and i feel like that is because we are um i feel in a very emotionally vulnerable situation even if we may be trying to act like we we got it all under control i feel like you know, we do need support right now. Um, let's get us one more card here. I just feel like we could be our own worst enemy in our mind. Really, like, with this Knight of Swords. Okay, but with this Knight of Cups, I do feel like, interesting, blend in coming out. So I do feel here with this, Knight of Cups, we're, we're a romantic person. We're someone who really does hold their heart on their sleeve, okay? And with this blend in card coming out, and especially, you know, with this hunting card where they're like trying to camouflage themselves, you know, it's like this energy where I feel like there's, you know, a desperation, right? Like in this, this is like a hunting scene, but I feel like this could even be like how we are a bit in relationship. Like there's this desperation to catch one of these kangaroos, but like we have to, we don't want to be seen. So it's interesting because I do feel like we're trying to blend in. Um, It's just, it's very weird, actually, Virgo, this energy. Okay. Really interesting. I got to say, I'm a little bit stumped here. I really am. Because it seems like, you know, it just feels to me like you want to put on this front like you're very in control of your emotions but you know it's actually taking a lot of effort for you to keep them contained you know um but at the same time i do feel like you know there is this need here with the four of pentacles to keep ourselves safe right? To be able to be stable, to have what we need. Okay. And overall, it is a confusing time. So let's just move on. We'll see if anything else comes up for this Virgo, but I'm, I am a little confused by your reading today. All right. So now here in our contributions, we have the judgment card coming out. Okay. So I mean, we're really having like an awakening right now to what our purpose is in this lifetime this is beautiful okay yes and we want to collaborate very truly want to collaborate but there could be some conflict okay because the three and the two of cups are both each on their own beautiful cards but together it is the five so i do feel like there could be a situation where you know, maybe there's, I mean, it could just play out a number of different ways. Mm -hmm. I feel like we could be a little controlling here or someone in our friend group could be very controlling with the devil. Okay, so I do feel like, Virgo, if someone from your friend group or maybe this is you, if like you are dating somebody, like someone from your friend group would be very possessive over you or vice versa okay so that's interesting 
We're ending with Page of Cups over your reading, which I really love with the Eight of Discs. I do feel like we could be starting a career like as a psychic or medium here, okay? Um, but I really love those two energies on the bottom of the deck. Um, but I'm feeling like there's some work here that really needs to be done because I do feel like we want to collab, but this devil in the mix is not uh, not speaking to me very nicely. You know, these are things that are holding us back with this devil. This could be assumptions that we're making, like stories that we're stuck in, cycles that we are not ending, okay? So we kind of have to sit in this Two of Swords energy a little bit here. I feel when it comes to your relationships, um, you know, maybe just try not to be very reactive. Try to sit with what you're feeling, okay? Yeah, love yourself, okay? I'm feeling that. I do feel that, Virgo, like it could be situations where, you know, we're reading too much into things. That's what I was kind of feeling with this devil. Like it's like we're stuck to these stories that we're not good enough or that people don't want to be our friend or something like that. You know what I mean? So it's like a conflict. Like I'm feeling like there's a conflict for you when your friend like wants to have other friends. Like if two of your friends are talking and you weren't invited, that might make you just automatically assume they were talking about you. Maybe it's not that simple. Maybe it's a more complex situation than that. But I just feel like loving yourself is the answer, right? Because you know, when we're kind of attached to these small stories about ourselves, then we will be a skeptic about everybody, right? Because we're not loving ourselves. So, you know, you can't expect people to love you if you're not going to believe them when they do. Um, I'm kind of feeling that. And this is in our contribution, right? So, you know, a big part of your contribution to society is, you know, loving yourself, right? Um, and it truly is, right? If we don't love ourselves, then we are going to participate in society in harmful ways, whether it be to us, others, or both. So we have to first and foremost find love for ourselves before we can even have a contribution to offer. Right. And I'm not saying you don't have a contribution to offer. I feel like right now with this judgment card, you're definitely, um, you know, having a lot come up. But I will say, Virgo, just do not compare yourself to other people. You are your own unique, beautiful person on this earth. And comparing yourself to others will keep you in this devil energy. OK, let's go ahead and get us a Sacred Destiny Oracle. Okay, we have Flow and Embracing coming out. And we will read those here. All right, let's start with Flow. Meandering River. There are times to hold on tight to the shore, and there are times to enter the flow. Notice where life is going and move in that direction. Watch for signs and follow them. Don't resist. When you go with the flow, your life force expands and healing on all levels abounds. This is also the time to release old, limiting patterns Forgive and let go of the need to be right about your beliefs. If you aren't feeling the smooth currents of life, it might mean that you're being self-critical or judgmental. When you enter the flow with gratitude and love, you will find blessings surrounding you. You will enter into a state of grace, and healing will abound. Wow. And now let's get into embracing flood plains. Sometimes life overflows with emotions. 
which can feel uncomfortable. However, the ensuing result of this discomfort can be of great value, perhaps arising from an unseen or unknown source. You get this card when emotions are seemingly overflowing or not flowing at all. Cherish the overflow of emotions and embrace the times that seem murky. For your inner floodplains are being replenished. As a result, there will be great spiritual and physical expansion. Embrace all your emotions. When you do so, greater prosperity and fertility will flow into your life. Alternatively, if your emotions have been blocked, this is a time to explore and experience them. Okay, really beautiful. And now I want to pull up an affirmation for the week, Virgo. So we will have this affirmation we can come back to. All right. While I'm shuffling here, Virgo, I just want to ask you to please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. If you want to book a personal, amyenergy.online. You can donate to the channel on Venmo or Cash App at Amy Energy. Follow me on Instagram at Amy Energy, TikTok at Amy Energy 3. Okay. Let's get one affirmation for the week for Virgo. So I'll hold it up so you can screenshot it here, Virgo. And you can take this affirmation to guide you as your little anchor for the week. We have everything happens according to divine timing for the best results. Okay, so take that with you, Virgo. Everything happens according to divine timing for the best results. Okay. Beautiful. Everything happens according to divine timing for the best results. All right, Virgo, please like, comment, share, subscribe, anything you do to help this channel, I greatly appreciate. I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.